Begin in child's pose. Head on the block, arms stretch forward. Sit the buttocks back towards the heels. The knees are wide enough for the ribs to fit right in between, but the big toes are together. Turn the hands out a little bit. So for today's class, you're going to need to have a block, a strap, and a blanket. If you're very flexible, the block under the head might not be appropriate. But you can see from my body, because the shoulders are tight, it helps to give me some nice length. As you press all the knuckles and stretch through the fingerprints and stretch the hand print into the mat, feel the wrist lift. So you can see my elbows are lifted. I haven't let the elbows sink. As you stretch here, think of your inner shoulder blades sliding down your back and stretch from the outer shoulders to the pinky. Then inhale, come up onto your hands and your knees without moving the hands or the knees, come right up, and then glide back into down dog. In down dog, find the same stretch, inner shoulder blades down the back, outer shoulder blades stretch through the pinky finger longer, lift the outer hips up, lift the buttock bones up away from the wrists. You might even lift the heels up high to get the buttocks to lift up. Let the weight of the head go, feel the next stretch. Take a few more breaths here. Feel the shoulders start to warm up. Keep pressing into the hands. Instead of letting your thighs hang forward, stretch the thigh bones back. Lift from the middle of the hamstring up to the buttock then walk your feet forward, fold forward, Uttanasana, standing forward fold. You can grab a hold of the ankles or the backs of the ankles if it's appropriate. If not, you can hold the elbows. If you need to bend the knees to get the spine to lengthen, go ahead and bend your knees. But I already did full practice another video right before doing this one, so the hamstrings are a bit more open. Normally I would have a bend in my knees in the first forward fold. Breathe into the backs of the legs. As you inhale, create a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Stretch your chest forward, draw your navel up so you can move your chest more, pull the shoulder blades down. And then bend your knees, sit your buttock back. As the buttock sits back, draw the navel in, stretch the arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Press the heels firmly Roll the arms like we were practicing in down dog. Stretch the outer armpit. Turn the outer shoulders forward. Then press down into your feet and come all the way up. Keep stretching the arms up. Then release the arms to the side, samastiti. As you stand here, take a slow breath into your nose and raise the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Inhale, hold in your plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So if you need to modify the vinyasa, you're always welcome to do chaturanga with knees down, do cobra instead of up dog. Bend the knees, step or jump forward, and inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Press down into your feet, inhale, come all the way up. Stretch the arms up and overhead. Exhale, arms back to your side. Inhale, arms stretch up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, lengthen, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you pause here, try not to rush, breathe evenly. Bend the knees, step or jump forward and inhale, lengthen, Exhale, fold.
press down through your feet. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch the arms. Exhale, Samastiti. One more round, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Pause and down dog. Then look between your hands. Step or jump forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Press down into your feet. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your left foot back, lower your left knee, and take your arms up, low lunge. Then curl the back toes under, pull the right thigh bone in, turn the left hip forward, and lift your back knee up just an inch at first. Keep your right knee bent deeply, and slowly start to stretch your left knee up inch by inch, but lengthen the tailbone and top of the buttocks down towards the floor as the knee comes up. See if you can stretch the left leg all the way straight, but keep lengthening the tail down. Bring the hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, Utkatasana. Exhale, press up, stand up, Samastiti. Inhale into chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step your right leg back, lower your back knee down and point the toes back. Inhale, low lunge, reach the arms up. Roll your inner right thigh back and lift up out of your lower back. Then curl the back toes under and lift the back knee up just an inch. As you turn your right outer hip forward, pull the left thigh bone in and lengthen your tailbone down. Slowly start to lift the back inner knee and push through the heel. Stretch the inner right leg longer, but try not to let the tailbone come up. Lift up out of your lower back with your arms. Stretch up, lift through the side chest. Bring the hands back. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more breath in down dog. And step your right foot all the way up and turn your back heel down. Come up into warrior two. Make your right knee track straight ahead. Try not to let the right knee cave in. Squeeze the right hip in. Then lift up through your side body as you push into the back heel. Put your right forearm down onto your right knee and take your left arm all the way overhead. As you press through your back heel, keep the right hip squeezed in, keep the right knee tracking, lift your chest up. Come back up to warrior two, and circle your hands to the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Step your left foot all the way up, turn your back heel down, come up warrior two, As you press your back heel down, try to lift the left front hip bone a bit. Then set the left forearm down onto the knee. Take the right arm, reach it all the way overhead. Take your right arm back up. Come back to warrior two, inhale. Circle your hands to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog.
Look in between your hands. Step or walk forward. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Then take the block and put it underneath your hands. Take the block onto the tall height. <clears throat> Without twisting your hips to the left, lift your left leg up behind you. Stretch your side chest forward. See if you can lift the left leg all the way up to hip height without the hips twisting. If you can't lift the leg that high without sinking or twisting, you could just uh, lift it as high as I'm showing. But slowly see if you could take the leg a bit higher, keep moving the side chest, now step back into a lunge. Inhale, take the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Bring your left elbow to your right knee. Instead of gripping a bunch to twist, relax into the twist a bit. So the, the, the structure of the legs is there, but relax the neck, the jaw, and the belly. Then see, with the belly relaxed, breathe down towards your lower belly, lengthen and twist. Bring your fingertips back down, step your back leg forward, and inhale into the flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Hands onto the block, inhale, flat back, shift the weight into the left foot. Without the hips twisting, raise the right leg from the inner thigh. Try not to let the hips or the waist turn to the right. Stretch your chest forward, move your sternum forward. If you're steady, take the arms back behind you. If you're not so steady, you could just keep the hands on the block. Work on lengthening. Stretch your inner right leg longer. Turn your upper arm bones out. Then bend the left knee, step back into a lunge. Inhale the arms up and overhead, crescent. Exhale, hands to prayer. Lean your chest out over your knee and twist. Tap the elbow to the knee. Keep your back leg stretched long, just like in Warrior One. Now loosen the belly and the jaw. Empty the jaw, the tongue. Feel the navel draw in and turn more. Now lift and turn your chest. Descend the left top thigh. Good, bring the hands back down. Step your back leg forward and inhale. Exhale, fold. Step back to downward facing dog. From down dog, hop to seated and sit on the block. All right, so now for this next pose, you're gonna need your strap. The left shin is gonna to come to Virasana then the right foot is gonna come into a Bhattakonasana position. So the left, uh, the right heel comes close to your pubic bone, knee goes wide like a tree pose leg. Then take your strap and lasso it around your left leg. Take your right arm behind you, grab a hold of the strap. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. As you inhale, lift through your right side long. Move the back of the sacrum in. And as you exhale, pull with your right arm and twist more. But make sure that you have that upright seat. That's more important. Untwist, unstrap, and change legs. So now bring the right leg into Virasana. Bring the left leg into Baddha Konasana. So heel comes close to the pubic bone. The left knee drops open. Strap your right thigh up. Take your left arm behind you and grab the strap. Right hand goes to the outside of your knee. As you inhale, sit tall. Stretch the inner left leg away from you, groin away from you. Inhale, fill your left lung like a balloon and lift up. Then as you exhale, pull with the strap and turn more. Untwist, come back to center. Move the block to the side. All right, now place your block on your mat on the flattest position and put your blanket just behind your block. Depending on how tight your upper back is, you might need to fold that blanket. So I just did a practice before this. My back is pretty mobile, but normally I would, I'd double fold that blanket because my back doesn't move so much. But I want you to put that block right underneath your shoulder blades and pull, see, see how I'm dragging back? I showed that action with my thumbs if you miss it you rewind the video but pull your shoulder blades down your back with the block so you kind of pull yourself back a bit and make sure that the bottom of the blade is hooked onto the block you don't want to have it 
um, down into your middle back. But bottom of the blade is hooked onto the block. Then take the elbows up, head on the blanket, and slowly start to stretch the elbows overhead. Depending on how tight your shoulders are, you might feel a lot or a little in this. But think of, instead of just pulling the elbows really far away from you, think of your inner arm bone dropping into the socket and your shoulder, inner shoulder blades dropping down. But then feel the outer armpit, outer shoulder blades start to lengthen towards the elbow. And as you stretch here, draw the front ribs back down towards the front hip bones. Feel the navel descend so that your belly isn't pushing way up. Feel the back of the skull lengthen from the buttocks and lengthen the buttocks towards the heels. Bring the elbows back up, change the clasp of the elbows and stretch the elbows overhead again. So if, if you do an activity where you have to use lots of shoulders, arms, uh, martial arts is becoming very popular, shoulders get tight, this is a great stretch for that. It's a great stretch for rock climbers, great stretch for surfers, uh, great stretch for cyclists who spend lots of time hunched over the bicycle. Really, if you do anything in life, this is a great stretch for you. Sitting at the computer. <clears throat> So feel your upper spine start to move into the curves of the lower spine into the neck. It's starting to uh, move into extension gradually, easily. Bring the elbows back up, bend your knees, roll over to your side, then press yourself up. Okay, so now we're gonna use the blanket we're going to lie with the blanket open, like I'm showing, with the shoulders on the blanket, but the head and neck off. It would seem insignificant, but this blanket is going to be really important for your shoulders. Bend your knees, bring your heels close to your buttock, and lift up. <clears throat> now roll onto the tops of the shoulders. See if you can roll the tops, tops of the shoulders down and bring the blades more into the back. Now grab a hold of the sides of your sticky mat and with your hands pull. Pull it out to the side. Spin the biceps out, turn the triceps in. So as you externally rotate the arms, you can get more onto the top shoulder. Now press the back of the arm bone down and lift the, back, the uh, shoulder blades right where the block was, move in. Then lower your buttock back down and take your strap. So now take your strap and make the loop so that it's just a little bit longer than it was for the last pose and take it around your ankles. This isn't an exact science. Um, of how to get the strap. I mean, I can't tell you exactly. You kind of have to play with it. I can't tell you exactly how it this long. But now as you push into your feet, lift your hips up. The strap should be tight enough to where it pulls. See how it's pulling my arms really straight? So pull with the, with the strap. And as you feel that pull, roll more onto the tops of your shoulders. Now pull with your hands and feel you can plug your blades in more. The action is really nice if you get the strap just right. So if it doesn't feel right, you might have to make the strap a little bit tighter. Press the inner heels down and lift your outer hips up. Now try not to grip your neck or your face or your throat. Effort without strain is what we're going for in the postures. Lower yourself back down. And we're going to do one more variation with the strap. So now take the strap and make it so that it's shoulder distance apart. So from center shoulder to center shoulder, measure with your fingers. <clears throat> Once you have that measurement, lift your buttock up. Put the strap above your elbows. It should be pulling the elbows in, so the shoulder distance, but not so tight to where it's like cutting off circulation. Then lift your butt up and see if you could slide your hands under your buttock. <clears throat> Get up onto the tops of the shoulders again, roll the shoulders under, keep the throat and the neck long, now lift the heels up, push the big toe mounds, lift the heels up, and lengthen the tailbone towards the backs of the knees. Now without twisting, see if you could take the right leg up without twisting the hips, without twisting the shoulders, still feel the tops of the shoulders even. Now see if the left heel could stretch back down. Keep driving through the inner right foot, then lower the right foot back down, lift the heels up, and take the left leg up without twisting. <coughs> Press through the left inner foot, lower the right heel without sinking, Keep reaching up with that left foot. Good, then lower the left foot back down. 
push the inner feet down. Then lower your buttocks all the way back down. Take the strap off of your arms. Lift your buttock up and take the block underneath your tailbone. Take it the long ways so that um, it's vertical on your tailbone. So your tailbone, middle tailbone sits on the block. And as your tailbone sits down, maybe you could take the legs up one at a time like I'm showing. If it's a lot of strain to take the legs up like this, your hamstrings are very tight, maybe just stay with the knees or the feet down, knees bent, or maybe just hold one leg up. Otherwise, this is a great inversion. Hold here. Great variation of shoulder stand. So a lot of the benefits that you hear about shoulder stand are gonna be felt and are going to be received when you hold this shape. Rebend the knees, one at a time, set the feet back down, lift the buttock up, and lower the block back down, lower the buttock down. <clears throat> Roll over to your side. Oh no, actually, stay on your back, put your fingers behind your head. As you exhale, like an old school sit up, chin into your chest, round up. Inhale, lower yourself back down, and like cat cow, arch your back, so try to lift the lower back, Lift the shoulder blade, bottom shoulder blades. <clears throat> then exhale, flatten the back, curl up. Grip the buttocks to the backs of the knees. Inhale, lower back down, stretch the elbows into the floor, arch the back away from the floor as much as you can, the whole spine. <clears throat> exhale, chin into chest. Squeeze and come up. Inhale, lower down, arch the back as much as you can, stretch the elbows. Exhale, chin into chest, now twist to the right. Inhale, lower back down, stretch the elbows, arch the back. Exhale, chin into chest, crunch up and to the left knee, lift. Inhale, lower back down, open the elbows, stretch. And exhale, release the arms to the side, turn the palms to face up, stretch the legs out. Let the feet splay open. So now just receive the effects of your practice. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the videos, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, tell a friend. Namaste.